The Lord instructed Moses and Aaron in Egypt to observe the first month of their year, the Passover, and to slaughter lambs for each household. The lambs must be year-old males without defects and should be roasted over fire with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. The blood from the lambs will be a sign for the community and no destructive plague will touch them when the Lord strikes Egypt. The Lord also instructed the Israelites to celebrate the festival of unleavened bread, which was the day that brought their divisions out of Egypt. For seven days, they were to eat bread made without yeast, remove yeast from their houses, hold sacred assemblies, and do no work. Moses summoned the elders of Israel and instructed them to select animals for their families and slaughter the Passover lambs. He also instructed them to dip a bunch of hyssop into the blood and put some on the top and sides of the door frames of their houses. The blood would be a sign for the community and the Lord would pass over them when he sees the blood. The Israelites followed these instructions and at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, including Pharaoh, the prisoner, and all livestock. The people bowed down and worshiped and the Lord blessed them. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron urging them to leave Egypt and worship the Lord. The Egyptians urged the Israelites to leave the country, but the Israelites refused, leading to the Exodus. The Israelites journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkoth, carrying their dough before adding yeast and asking for articles of silver, gold, and clothing. The Israelites traveled from Ramesses to Sukkoth with about 60,000 men, women, children, and large droves of livestock. They baked loaves of unleavened bread using the dough they had brought from Egypt. The Israelite people lived in Egypt for 430 years. And at the end of the 430 years, all the Lord's divisions left. The Passover meal 